We are absolutely delighted that Championship is back this weekend after a very dull international break. And we have, on Friday night, another Yorkshire derby to kick off what should be an excellent Championship weekend. We are predicting all of the Championship games this season and we are doing this competition between our 24 fantastic podcasters. This week sees the turn of our Rotherham fan, Reese. Good evening, Reese. Good evening. All right, you ready for this? Now, last week, um, our Birmingham fan um, managed to get 10 points, so three points for the correct score and one point for the correct result. He managed to accurately predict 0-0 in the QPR game, um, beating nice. my score of nine. But our uh, our actual uh, viewers managed to beat him as well, so congratulations to uh, Holy Countdowns, who predicted um, one correct result and uh, seven... Uh, sorry, one, one correct match and seven results. So let's see if you can do any better. We'll start with your game. Um, Friday night on Sky. Looking forward to it? Uh, yes and no. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, I am looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a really good game. Uh, but obviously with, with the you know with the situation it is, it's kind of a bit of a bittersweet kind of thing. So. Let's get a prediction then. Um, Rotherham against the odd enemy leads. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to say I've got to say it, it's going to be a draw. I think I'm going to put one. I can't I can't say that Leeds are going to win. So I'm putting a one one draw for this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm sorry for my prediction, but um, if you did point no, no. if you did appointed a new manager, um, then I would have uh, been a little bit more um, in your favour. You are very good at home as well, aren't you? Or, or yeah, yeah, yeah. So, areas. but I've gone four 0 just just the way that Leeds are played. So okay, I'm, I'm, fingers crossed, uh, we do well. I, I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> then going on to the uh, Saturday games. Then so interesting one. This one, it's a must win for Birmingham. Um, Rooney's still looking for his first win. Do you think he'll get it against the Owls? I think so. I think uh, Wednesdays have only won one game at the this season. Uh, they were against us, unfortunately. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think Birmingham they've had you know they've had one draw at a, you know this season as well. But I'm, I'm topping for me. I think two nil to Birmingham. Two nil Birmingham. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we must be uh, yeah, oh. telepathic. Yeah, that's exactly what I went with as well. Yeah, I can't. I can't mm. see uh, Sheffield Wednesday set in Birmingham but could you just yeah, imagine yeah. what St Andrews is going to be like on 70 minutes if Wednesday go 1-0 up just, just imagine yeah, exactly. like Twitter's going to have a meltdown yeah. yeah I hope Sheffield Wednesday don't like him it's probably for a Rotherham <laughs> fan but it's just yeah. like <laughs> alright ok next one then uh, Bristol City uh, Lee Manning is uh, his home debut against the Borough what are you come with this one uh, Bristol City oh, it's a tough one I think um, that's I'm putting down, I think, um, 2 0 to Middlesbrough. I oh, reckon. Okay. Yeah, I went 1 0, but yeah, it's going to be a tight one. I don't think it's going to be an easy game for uh, for Borough, but I think they'll just, perhaps just have the edge. Yeah, and not to mention, I think I think Middlesbrough's won you know, quite a few games compared to Bristol. One more, yeah. I think, than Bristol City have. So. Um, now, I don't know what the possession stats are going to be like in this one, but Southampton are a team that <laughs> like to keep the ball, and Huddersfield are a team that don't mind the other team having the ball at the moment. So, um, which way do you see this one going, Reese? Oh, at the minute, uh, again, like I said, I've done a bit of my own work. I think Southampton, I think they've only draw, they've won most of the games and draw one compared to Huddersfield's three losses and one win and a draw. So, I think it's odds are tipping to Southampton, I think. Uh, I'm saying 1 0 to Southampton. That's exactly what I went with as well. And a 90th minute winner as well, which is what they love doing uh, oh, right. away from home as well. Yeah. OK, um, fascinating one now. Leicester are having a bit of a wobble, but they're also uh, coming up against a Watford side un unbeaten in six. How do you see this one going? Yeah, I mean, again, like Watford's been doing really well this season. Um, and Leicester's lost two in the last two games, haven't they? So, again, I'm, I've got a tip. I think it's going to be a 2-0 win, me, to Watford. Oof. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set, I think we're gonna of, set a lot of Leicester fans there. I think one, <laughs> one. I think I can't see Leicester losing three on a bounce. Um, not with the quality they've got. And, and I say Watford aren't, aren't a bad side, are they? Yeah, right, yeah. Um, next Good one, team. Millwall um, against um, Coventry, who managed to stop the rot um, last time. I think against Stoke. Yeah. I, I, to be fair, I think this is going to be a difficult game uh, to try and predict, due to the fact that Coventry has not really done really well this season. Millwall the beginning draws and losses. But I am tipping for Coventry a one 0 win. I think. Oh, okay, right. I've gone. I've gone Millwall two one. Um, okay. I think, new, yep. I think the new manager's gonna gonna get them playing and watch out for Millwall this season. I think they're gonna surprise a few. 
Um, that's my view anyway. Um, Norwich against QPR. Who'd have thought this would be a battle closer to the bottom, but um, hard team to predict. Norwich, what do you reckon to this one? Yeah, again, another one. Uh, I think I'm going to give it to the home team for this one for a 1-0 win, I reckon. Um, again, QPR's last last drawn two games and Norwich won the last one, so I think I'm going to give it to them. OK, yeah. I, I said 3-1 uh, Norwich. 3-1? Yeah, yeah they can, uh, they, they're can. a good attacking side, Norwich, aren't they? Um, but yeah. I don't think I, I might want to change that, actually, because I've been reading a bit about QPR this week and he's got them well drilled defensively as, as, as Fufiantes, so... Maybe maybe I'm wrong. I might change it to one one, but um, we'll go with that for now. Thank <laughs> you. Um, Plymouth against Sunderland, the uh, biggest drive between two championship clubs. Well done, Sunderland fans. Yeah. Going to this, I mean credit credit to you. Four hundred and five miles separates the teams. So. Yeah, yeah, it is a big drive. I mean, like I think to be the quite even teams, I reckon, and I've, I'm going for a one one draw. Me for these. Yeah, I went just slightly Sunderland to edge it. Just Plymouth can score. Just right, okay. Effect, yeah. But yeah, okay. Um, Preston Cardiff. Again, um, again, somewhat similar. I've gone because again, Preston's won the last two games. You got Cardiff. That's you know that a loss and a draw. But I've got, I'm tipping two two me for this one. Okay, so let's say one. Yeah. I went I went two 0 Preston. I think he's got them. He's got them playing really well. Um, I think this is the probably for me the hardest one to predict. This weekend, maybe West Bromwich which in a minute. Um, Stoke Blackburn. Again, yeah, I mean you got Stoke. That's like you know drawn the one last three games. Blackburn again, uh, they're kind of off and on, aren't they? A minute winning, losing games. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Blackburn. I think two 0 Yeah, I, I, I think I, they're gonna I, try I, and get I, it. I, I, I chickened out of making a decision. Yeah, I went for and they're entertaining two two. <laughs> Stokes goals have dried up a little bit at the moment, but I think I think they'll be yeah, yeah. they'll be good enough. Uh the Swans against the Tigers. What do you reckon to this one? I reckon all's gonna do it, me. I think all's gonna win two 0 I've put down here. So it's just like I said, the all's kinda you know, getting a bit more speed now, so yeah. we'll see how they get on. Yeah, I've gone for one one. I think yeah, both teams are going to be in and around that playoffs, aren't they? Most of this most of the season, so I'm not going to split. Yeah. So it could be nil nil as well. Um, and then a uh, really big game is Saturday evening. Um, so West Brom have only lost one at home, and of course Ipswich are now the only team in the whole Championship um, with a um, unblemished away record. Um, where do you see this one going? Again, like you said before, I think these are quite evenly even even teams. I mean, they both won three games, um, they were drawn some, but I am going for I'm going for a, a chicken out and a two two draw. Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, yeah. And I went just just okay. for which one they'll win, which means West Brom are going to win now because my, my tips were terrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, super. Right. Thank you very much, Reese. We will catch you then um, up with you next week and see how you've done and see if you uh, were rather than getting the leaderboard. Enjoy yeah, the games. Fingers crossed. And, yeah. We'll see you in another video. Cheers. See you later, mate. Bye.